Hi everyone, I hope you're doing great and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are taking you on a one-day trip around Mount Fuji. So grab yourself a drink and follow us along. Asano, goji goju gofundes. We had an early start to pick up a car and head out towards Mount Fuji. The Fuji Five Lakes region is a popular destination, offering plenty of breathtaking views of Fujisan, and it's conveniently accessible from Tokyo. From our place, it takes about an hour and a half to reach Lake Kawaguchi at least on a weekday morning and before traffic picks up. Located on the northern shore of Lake Kawaguchi, Oishi Park or Oishi Koen offers stunning panoramic views of Mount Fuji. Oishi Park is also known for its seasonal flower gardens. In June and July, the park hosts a famous lavender festival, while in autumn, visitors flock to see the vibrant kochia bushes. When we visited head of October, the kochia hadn't fully turned red yet, but during peak autumn, they turned vibrant red. Since we arrived early, the park was peaceful and quiet. But be prepared for crowds as tour buses start rolling in from 9, 10 a.m. Next, we headed for lunch at Koshu Hoto Kosaku. We enjoyed a delicious bowl of hoto a traditional noodle dish and local specialty of Yamanashi Prefecture. This hearty, rustic dish features thick, flat noodles served in a rich miso-based broth with a variety of vegetables. The restaurant itself has a wonderful traditional atmosphere. But I recommend arriving early, right after it opens at 11 a.m. Because it fills up fast by noon. Expect lines and a packed parking lot if you come later. After lunch, we made our way to Saiko, or Lake Sai, for a kayaking adventure. Saiko is Originally, we planned to kayak on Lake Motosu, but strong winds made it unsafe. It's a bit of a shame as our guide, Osan, mentioned that the views from Lake Motosu are absolutely stunning. However, kayaking on Lake Sai turned out to be very enjoyable, especially with the beautiful weather we had. <laughs> Osan is very knowledgeable about Mount Fuji and the surrounding nature and made the experience even better. I link his contact in the description below. Tours in English are available as well. Next, we visited Kitaguchi Hongu Fuji Sengen Jinja, a historic Shinto shrine located at the northern base of Mount Fuji. It's one of several Sengen shrines dedicated to Konoha Nasakuya Hime, the Shinto goddess of Mount Fuji and protector of fire and volcanoes. Founded over 1,900 years ago, this shrine was once the main center of Fuji worship. While most people now use modern routes to climb Mount Fuji, this shrine served as the traditional starting point for pilgrims who came to pray for safety before their ascent. The grounds are surrounded by towering ancient cedar trees, some over 1,000 years old, adding to the tranquil and sacred atmosphere. Beyond being a place of worship, the shrine offers a peaceful retreat for visitors wanting to connect with the rich cultural and spiritual history of the area. 
we then headed to the shores of Lake Kawaguchi, near the Kawaguchi Great Bridge. The skies were clear, giving us a perfect view of Mount Fuji, and the colors were stunning. However, I couldn't help but wonder if the view and sunset positioning might be even better from Lake Yamanaka. Looks like we have to come back and find out. After nightfall, we headed to Fuji Yulali Hot Spring to enjoy a Kashikiri Buro, or private bath, followed by a relaxing dinner. Miyuki had udon and kappameshi, while I opted for a classic tonkatsu teishoku. It was the perfect way to unwind before the drive back. Since the sky was exceptionally clear, we made a spontaneous stop at the National Tree Planting Festival Memorial Plaza, a lesser known spot near Lake Kawaguchi. Be careful on the road as it is pitch dark and you'll surely encounter some wildlife as we did, such as deer and boar. <laughs> This quiet location offers panoramic views of Mount Fuji and is ideal for stargazing due to the low light pollution. And that's it for this video. Shorter than usual. I hope you enjoyed it and maybe found some inspiration for your own trips around Mount Fuji. We will surely go again in the area because, as I told you, it's easy to access and we're never tired of admiring Mount Fuji, especially on clear days. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. And in the meantime, I'm working on the next video, so don't hesitate to check our past trips. And I'll see you in the next one.